this tragedy that's brought us all here tonight and has rocked our little community. A somber mayor of Fallon addressed news crews tonight, hours after a gunman walked into this church, opened fire, and struck two. It's too early to understand the motive, but initially it does not appear that this attack was directed at the church, but an individual victim that was attending services. Tonight, we are learning more about the suspect. O'Connor is a member of the LDS Church, according to police, and attended services himself this morning. And this is crazy. Take a look at this. His house is right down the street from the church. After the shooting, O'Connor returned here, where he was later arrested. But back inside of this church, moments after the shooting... They were all shook up, but it was, it was clear they were there for each other and, and doing the best they could. We still don't know much about the man who died. We do know that Charles Miller has lived in Fallon for quite some time. People in this town call him Bert. Bert had a wife and three children and several grandchildren. and was a longtime member of our uh, very favored volunteer fire department. News of his passing spread quickly here. Everyone knows each other. Everyone knows each other by a proxy of work. You know, what kind of car they're driving. And tonight, an entire town stunned with what happened in this church. You don't think these these things will happen in a small town like the city of Fallon, but they do.